Welcome to a new video. Uh, today, as you guys probably will see in the title, uh, this is something I have not yet done before. Um, I will be building a canoe cart from scratch. I've wanted to do this for a while now because there's plenty of ponds near me where if you had some type of uh, mobility with the canoe or kayak, then uh, you'll be able to access these ponds that I think are, would do very well just because nobody really is able to get to them unless you have some type of mobility. So I drew together just a few plans of what I want want to do with it. I did some research beforehand on just Googling and YouTube and uh, what people have done before. So I got an idea what I want to do. I got the list. I uh, went ahead to Lowe's and actually get all these pieces. But I'm going to take you guys there and uh, we're going to pick up some of these parts. So I'm going to get driving and I'll meet you guys there. Now I think I'm just gonna start putting lines on this PVC and just, just get get right into it. Start cutting, um, put as many things we can together. We gotta glue some things, so I wanna try and do those first for the dry, uh, and then in between that I'll try and figure something out. But uh, we're gonna get it going, so let's go. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys everything I got first before we before we really dive into the building. But so we got some PVC. I got about 14 feet in total. I got a half inch threaded bolt there. That's what I'm gonna use for my axle. We got two wheels, PVC fittings, and some nuts and bolts in there, but that's about it. And we also have some PVC uh, pipe insulation that we're also gonna be using. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about the actual uh, process of building right now that's gonna come in between, but that's all all that we got um, for gluing it together. I got some plastic bonder that I wanted to get rid of, so we're gonna use that, that should work. But that's what we got and that's what we're working with and hopefully it turns out well. Big pieces are marked, now we're just gonna go cut it. Where are you Where's it, buddy? Where are you? Where are you see? Where is it? Huh? Oh, is there a bird? Get it. Good boy. Just cut all the main pieces of the PVC. We got four one footers, got one two footer. I'm leaving a longer piece of PVC for the ends because I want to try and make those as long as possible. I'm putting them on the end so if I want to flip the canoe or kayak over, um, I can do that. But for the time being, I'm just Gonna use this, gonna save that. I'll know better once I put this together on how uh, long I actually want that to be. But we're gonna take this outside and we're gonna start um, putting some elbows on there and start putting it together. So this is what we ended up with, with the frame. Uh, none of this is secured yet. I'm just making sure everything fits. Uh, I'm not gonna glue it in until the last second where um, I know everything is where it is. But after this now, uh, we're gonna where I'm gonna cut out a few more uh, pieces for, we have the, the bar 
where the uh, canoe or kayak will sit. And also down here is where the wheels will be with the axle and stuff. So I gotta cut out some uh, more PVC for that. But this is the frame and it's looking pretty good so far. Change of plans. I'm gonna get out fishing with my buddy. I'm just gonna get out now because the weather's rolling in and see if we can get out. It is the next day. We were back. Fishing trip yesterday. Well, as you guys probably see in this video. Megan, your PV. Peaceful. Pretty good. Friend got a new PB, aka the Pond Father. New PB for him. We're staying inside today, I think. We got thunderstorms, rain rolling in. If I can get outside and put this together, I will. Uh, we don't got too much left. Make a few final cuts. Uh, start gluing it. I want to spray paint it. We're just going to keep rolling. I want to show you guys the steps that I've been doing. And let's get this thing finished. So this is what I got right now. See, we got pretty much the whole frame assembled. I actually went out and bought new joints for these, like these ones, for I can have another piece of PVC sticking out that way, or I can put the canoe or kayak say, upside down rather than right right side up. Uh, so I'm gonna put those in. Uh, that's the only adjustments I've made so far of what I want to do. I'm gonna trim this and this just a little bit for this rod it can fit as you see it's a little bit too long so if I just cut those a little bit that's where the wheels are gonna go that's the axle so we're gonna cut those a little bit and we're gonna make it fit I'm just chopping the top and bottom of the frame just a couple inches shorter I think that'll give the axle enough room with the, the wheels if not I can always just cut more off I just don't want to use too much Got to turn it on. That would help. So these are now shorter, two inches, the exact. Let's see how these fit. Got those cut. Got plenty of room here. The axle and the wheel, just enough. When I put that, put a screw on the end, should be nice and flush, and close to it. Uh, but this is looking pretty good. So what I'm about to do now is, see if you guys can see, is I'm gonna drill a hole in these PVC caps. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm gonna put them on the end where the wheels are, and then I stick the axle through the cap it acts as a guide and it doesn't move around too much so that will go through the PVC then the wheel will be right here which you guys will see better once this is done but I just got to drill one more on this cap and that should be good for our axle to make that just a little bit bigger because that actually isn't quite the bit size I'm looking for. Just going to do the rest by a drill bit. Just needs to be a little bit wider so I'm just going to make it just a little bit bigger. Now that fits nicely in there. So you got the two caps. I'll show you how this is going to be in there right now. So that is how it's going to be. Obviously, it's going to be even, but so we have the caps with that threaded bolts. That's going to act as a guide. So it doesn't get off path, but then I'll put some washers and bolts on there to secure the wheels. It's time to start gluing. And we're actually going to take that outside. It's looking nice right there. No more thunderstorms, rain. Uh, so we're going to bring it out there for now. Just more room and you guys will see um, everything put together out there. Before I put it together, I think I'm going to spray paint it. I don't know what color. I think I'm going to put the joints as a different color as the main frame. But we're going to paint it something. I don't know what yet. You guys will see.
One more coat of silver, and we'll be done. Kind of thing is done. We're gonna let that dry for a little bit. Just heard or saw some raindrops, so that's not too good. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully it doesn't start downpouring on us because I don't feel like getting pieces wet. But give this a few, then we'll put it together. We are in race against time right now. Storms rolling in, clouds are not looking good. I gotta move quick, so I'm gonna try and get together, get this together super quick. Put everything, glue it, and then bring it inside. It's dry enough. Um, I'll put a clear coat on it later. We're just gonna get this together. Done fighting the rain, packing up. We're just gonna assemble it inside. That way, it'll actually give me some time to fully dry the paint, anyways. Very wet. Nice. Well, here is almost the final product. All that left that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put some insulation on these ends here where the canoe and kayak is going to rest just for the, some cushion support uh, and also I wasn't sure on how long I wanted this PVC pipe to stick out which acts as like an anchor for the cart doesn't move um, so I'm gonna probably go out and get maybe a, a foot or two of PVC to put there but Everything's assembled, uh, glued, put some PVC cement on there. I'm just gonna wait for all that to dry. I painted some more caps for these ends here, but I'm not gonna uh, cement those down just in case I wanna redo uh, the insulation that I put on here if it ever gets wrecked. Overall, pretty good. Uh, once it stops raining, I'll bring it outside and we can do a little more cinematic shots. But overall, I think it looks pretty good right now. Um, excited to get the kayak and canoe, uh, but we're going to finish up what we have here and then I'll show you guys some, some cool shots of it. I got to film the first test of the cart and it worked, but it didn't able to hold the kayak, but I underestimated the weight of the canoe. And this is kind of what we got right now. Yeah, it just wasn't secure enough canoe was just too heavy especially with everything in it uh, it's perfect for the kayak but uh, this should be an easy fix um, one thing that I'm going to do is these legs PVC right here I'm just gonna trim down just a little bit it was a little high when I was holding the canoe and I think if I just take those off uh, it'll be it'll be good to go and I'm just gonna re re-glue it. I uh, might actually trim the pieces where the canoe sits on uh, just for not as much torque as being put on the frame here. And I think that will do it. I'm, I'm probably just going to cut to me finishing it up because it's not too much work. Uh, but I guess I'll see you with the, the final design. The day has finally come. We finally completed the canoe cart. Check this out. So that is the final project. That is with the canoe on. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys what the kayak is on because that's 10 times easier. So if this canoe cart can handle the canoe, it can definitely handle the kayak because it's much lighter, smaller, all of the above. But it came out pretty well. Uh, we're just going to show you guys quick how it wheels on the ground. It moves pretty good, but we'll cut to that right now.
moves uh, moves pretty well as you guys see uh, I can turn it pretty easily it's pretty smooth when you're actually pulling it which is nice uh, I actually just secured it with some of these ratchet straps just a couple uh, and these just go under here I try to put it in the center not too far because I put it too far that will put a lot of stress on these joints and I don't want these to crack so halfway seems to be working maybe a little bit closer but if you put it a little closer you're gonna lose maybe some stability out of it so halfway seems to be good and also as well uh, making this shorter this connection I think added or um, got rid of a little bit of torque off the frame just with the whole weight of the canoe so I think that's making this a little bit more durable and sturdy as well overall moves moves well uh, turns great and also as well um, when you're loading the canoe cart I definitely re recommend two people I did that by myself I uh, I just used a race platform to get the cart under easier but uh, if you guys got two people uh, with a canoe kayak you could probably do it easy by yourself that's it for this one but if you guys did like this video be sure to subscribe leave a like and comment down below and in the comments, uh, just if you guys want to see more projects like this that are fishing related, uh, using some engineering skills of uh, whether it's building, designing, uh, all the above, put it down in the comments and um, I'll be sure to uh, look at those. And then maybe in the future video, I'll put, put one of your guys' comments out. But um, that's going to be it for this, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Back to it.